So in this video, I want to talk about one of my most used interior brushes and it's And it's gonna be these upholstery brushes. Um, I always forget the name. They'll be linked down in the description box down below. Uh, but this is by far, and I'm not gonna show you examples of me using it because if you look back on just about 60% of all my videos of interior cleaning, I use this specific brush. I've been using, not, not I haven't been using this specific brush, but I, I've used multiple of these same brushes for the last three, four years. And I think this one has been holding up for two years. This is the, the newest one that I've purchased. Um, but these hold up for a very, very long time. Uh, and this is by far one of my more favorite interior brushes because the bristles are stiff. I don't know if you can hear or that. But the bristles are stiff. They're very durable. The handle itself is great to hold in your hand. And I primarily use this for just cloth seats or any cloth material. So on whether it be on the door panels, the floor mats, the carpet, cloth seats. And as well, I do use it on leather. When I first started, um, for a while, I just used... Give me one second to grab it. When I was first doing interiors on leather, I would first uh, always just use these brushes to do leather because they're, they're soft bristles. Bristles. I would do circular motion to agitate the br to agitate the leather. But using just like something small like this does take quite a bit of time. And uh, I remember one specific detail. I was like trying to hurry up, and I never used these brushes on the leather because they were like just because of, of how uh, aggressive or how yeah, how aggressive the, the bristles were. But uh, once I used it on the leather, I mean, it was so much easier because you could cover so much more real estate because it's so, it's so much bigger than just using a small little brush. Um, and since then, I started using these on leather as well. And you don't damage the leather. Of course, common sense with anything. You're not going to like put like, you know, 100 pounds of down pressure and just like agitate vigorously for five minutes. So you apply common sense. Like you're not going to damage it just by gently uh, agitating the leather seats with this, with this upholstery brush. And I, I've done plenty of leather seats with this upholstery brush and that there's there's no like damage like I don't you know you don't take off the high you don't destroy it. you don't see none of that so it's just you you very lightly agitated over the leather so uh, by far one of my most useful interior brushes that I have in my arsenal now not a downside but just something to keep in mind is sometimes the side bristles as you're holding it here you kind of you kind of grab some of these bristles and you'll start to kind of just bend or twist or, or mold these these side um these side bristles so they can they you know as you can tell they get a little can you see it they get a little bit funky uh, as far as like on the sides, but there's no problem with that. I typically always just use the front side of the brush. I don't really turn it to use it the bottom side. So every time I'm using it, I'm always edging it down. So when I'm cleaning like cloth seats or like edges, I always use the tip, the, the flag bristles here to get inside the seams and such uh, when I'm cleaning any type of um, any type of tight areas. Now that doesn't mean you should use it on every type of cloth material, uh, just because you know, again, it, it comes down to, to, to applying common sense. Um, like some type of headliners are like really old or kind of like low quality material. And if you use anything other, like if you use, like, like if you use this brush on a headliner and it's like an old, cheap, low quality material, you won't damage the headliner, but just because the fibers on the headliner are so low quality, it's gonna really, you'll see uh, where you agitated with this upholstery brush because this, this is a bit aggressive, but you have to be, can just be cognizant of like, okay, that material, compared with, with this brush, it's probably not gonna handle it just because it's so old, low quality, it's already torn up. So in that case, sometimes I'll go back to, to, to a brush like this, if, if, the, if the material itself is you know, worn out at that point. Like if I, don't, if I wanna go very lightly, very gentle, I wanna clean it, but I'm definitely not looking to remove most of it, or I just wanna like lightly reduce it because, you know, because of the damage or whatever, I'll go back to this brush. Uh, but so again, it comes down to just applying common sense to, to the material that you're working on. You I mean, as much as I use this, there's still going to be common, you know, areas where I'm not going to use it simply, simply due to the condition. Um, another great place I use this on is, so my rule of thought is like, you're going to use the big brushes or big tools on areas where you can cover the most coverage and use the smaller tools, the smaller brushes to get to the more detailed areas. So again, when I first started, I would use this, uh, a brush like this, this type, not this brush specifically, but essentially this type of brush to clean like an entire, to clean like three rows of leather sheets, to clean door panels. Like I already use this because I saw the YouTube videos, they spray the APC, they make it all sudsy and agitate it. So I, I always used to use this, like on the entire door panel, on the entire leather seat. But once I realized I could use this, it's much more efficient to clean larger areas like on a door panel, on leather seats, on cloth with huge swiping motions as compared to using this small little brush and going in agitation and, 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 and circular motions. Yes, like if, if you see YouTube videos across the, the YouTube, you'll see like they'll spray into here, they'll make it look all nice and sudsy and take their time and they'll really make the suds come up. Look, that's, I mean, that's cute enough, but to get the job done, like you could, 
you could cut your time in half just by using a larger brush on the door panels, on cloth seats, leather seats, by just using long stroke motions on the leather seats as compared to going in circular motions. And just due to the fact that the the bristles here just aren't as 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 a, as aggressive as aggressive as strong, then you're gonna take a bit more time, you know, sitting there in circles trying to agitate it because they're so soft. They get to go at it a little bit more as compared to this where just a light uh, agitation with the over, you know, whatever area. Uh, does a lot more effective cleaning because of the aggressive brushes. And I touched on this in a little bit, but actually, yeah, they actually hold up pretty well. This is, I think I have been having this one for at least a year and a half now, two years. The one before this, I think it was at like two and a half years as well. So they do hold up very well. Over time though, depending on how you hold it, um, like if you're, if you're, you know, consistent and you're always keeping it flat, then, you know, all the bristles will kind of trim down at the same time. But if you like always using like the top side, like this side, this side will get worn down and then this side is still gonna have like long bristle brushes. And to me, funny enough, uh, that was my hand. To me, funny enough, like I didn't recognize how low the bristles were until like someone left me a comment and then I looked at it, I was like, oh wow, it is actually pretty low. So, um, but it, I mean, they last a very, very long time. I, I would not be, again, I, I mean, I forget the price. Again, it'll be linked down below. I think it was like 12 bucks or something. I do not remember. Um, but they last very, I mean, you'll get your money's worth out of this regardless how much you, because it, it, it's a it's a very durable brush. Now, as far as cleaning this brush, because um, you do want to clean your brushes that way, I mean, because this is always cleaning like dirty material, right? Cloth, leather, uh, so there's always gunk in here. So every now and then, at least, you know, every, once a week or something, you want to make sure you clean them out just so it doesn't stink or does it, there's nothing stuck in there that, you know, that's just nasty. So I personally, I mean, you can do it multiple ways. I always just spray APC into it and then just hose it down, uh, APC and then hose it down. Uh, or sometimes, I, or you can sometimes just put it like in a container or something and just like drop it in there and let the water and, and solution just kind of work into the, into the material there. But I don't do much maintenance on it. I mean, it, I mean, like this is, it's very, very, it's a high quality material here that, that I just, I can't recommend enough to, to, to detailers that are looking to get started uh, with, with interior cleaning. Uh, as far as, I mean, there's no use for the exterior. Um, so there's nothing on the exterior that you could use this for. Uh, this is just primarily. It's primarily just for interiors. Now, with that being said, uh, as good as this brush is, a, good, a great partner to it is just this smaller bristle brush. Um, not as aggressive, but just because like on, just, okay, anything on, on door panels, leather seats or whatever, there's gonna be just, it is a little bulky tool, right? So it's not gonna, you know, as much as you wanna use it like this flag part to get into the tight areas, having a smaller brush as well does help a lot. So these two pair up together very, very well because they could just complement each other big aggressive small aggressive so you can you know you get the large areas with this brush and you get the very very detailed areas with this part with, with this brush um including these two brushes but i'm gonna just focus on these but look this this is like for so many years i mean not, maybe for like a year ish year and a half ish like i did like dozens and dozens of interiors like filthy interiors like filthy cloth seats filthy leather interiors like hammered interiors with just these brushes and towels and apc so if you're just starting off and I, like just I mean starting off with just this and APC and a, and, a, and some towels will get you a long way. Yes, granted it's gonna take you a lot more work, a lot more elbow grease. You're gonna sweat more. You'll get fatigued more, but you can get it done because I literally did so many video uh, videos, so many vehicles with just these brushes, and got amazing results. So to, looking to get started again, I highly recommend this specifically this upholstery brush. There's plenty of other upholstery brushes that you can, I mean, there's plenty of them. This is the main one I've used. I've used a few others, not like in my business, but when I've helped other detailers. And this is just my, my game winning one right here. Um, so highly recommend it. Check the description box down below for the for the Amazon link. I am an affiliate for this. Um, but it's, I mean, it, it is a great product. I, I mean, again, I've, I've, I've had three in the last like two and a half, three years. So highly recommend it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the, in the comment section down below and I'll answer whatever questions you want. Um, again, yeah, I've been using this last three years. I can't say enough great things about it. Okay, that's it.